Merritt, the Red Line Recreational Boys, here I'm sure you're going to choose a belt on a Pro or on a Panel. Now you can choose to leave it on or you can take it off. I'm going to take it off. Inside here is your toolkit. Inside the toolkit is this tool here, which is called the team tool. What you want to do is take your team tool, put it inside that little hole there that's threaded, and then screw it in. You'll come to a point where you start feeling pressure. From there, you'll see it starts splitting, splitting the two sheaves apart, taking the tension off the belt. Once you get in about that far, that's usually good enough. You can start at the top. The belt comes right off. Getting it around the primary clutch can be kind of a pain sometimes because it's tight, but it will come out of there. If it helps if need be. At this point, if you have remnants of the belt after your shreds, you can take it off. If it completely disintegrates, then from there, you'll have the remnants of the belt down here in the pan. So we'll try to clean all that out as best you can. Your spur belt's located here. Take it out. Same thing, It'd be a pain, but slip it around your primary clutch first. That, and then start at the bottom this time. Keep it around just like that. From there, take your team tool back out. While you do it, it's a good, or good idea to try to spin the belt as best you can. To get the belt seated back up at the top of the secondary clutch, best you can. Take your team tool back out. From here, I like to start the machine, punch it down the trail a little ways, get the clutches both spinning, step off, check and make sure that the belt has seated itself all the way back up into the clutch like it should be right about there. If it has and you're happy with it and everything seems running fine, Back in the tool pouch. Back in the carrier. 